authorized users. What are they? And why would you want to add one? Great questions. Let's dive into it. An authorized user is kind of like a plus one on your credit card account. As the name implies, this plus one is authorized to make purchases on your account. They even get a credit card name of their own with their name on it. You can add almost anyone you want as an authorized user, a spouse, significant other, family member, or even just a friend. So long as your authorized user meets the credit card issuer's minimum age requirement, you should be able to add them. And why would you want to enable someone else to make purchases on your account? Maybe you just got married and you want to add your spouse to your account. Or perhaps you have a child away at college who can't get a credit card of their own. Adding them as an authorized user gives them a way to buy books or school supplies without having to send cash. Adding an authorized user to your account could also be a good way to help someone who may not have any or much credit build a credit history. That's because many credit card companies report all activity on the account to the credit bureaus of both parties. Credit One Bank, for example, reports all account activity to both parties' credit bureaus if the authorized user is a primary account holder spouse. While an authorized user is allowed to make charges on the account, the primary account holder is ultimately responsible for all charges, including the authorized users. So don't add an authorized user lightly because you'll be the one on the hook to pay for their purchases. Adding an authorized user is typically just a matter of providing some information about the person you want to add. Learn more about authorized users by clicking the link below to Credit One Central, your one stop resource for all things credit. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more Credit One Bank videos on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe.